probably do. Um, uh, Diane Sawyer. All right, so this is part two, folks, of uh, Noel Can't Tell a Lie. <laughs> so we got, what, two minutes? What was the count? So we're going we're gonna to talk about edges. All right. So we have two and a half minutes. Edge. What colors, are they, what colors will they be? Okay. So I can't plead the fifth on this? <laughs> you can choose tell. not to answer, right, Noel. Two and a half minutes. <laughs> so I'll tell you the colors. I won't tell you which colors are on which airplane. Okay. Which so it would be red, silver, nice. black, maybe some white. Okay, that's okay. good. How's that? So, uh, <laughs> 74. 74. Where are we at on the 74? Fuse length? About 70. So it's a square airplane. Yeah. Square airplane. Counterbalances? Elevators? Counterbalances? Of course. I'm asking, I'm asking me to ask you a question. Is that the only new size of edge? Ah! Which type is this? Is that the new, is that the only edges coming out? Well, as a matter of fact, no. Aha! So what other size edges do we have? Well, you can, so I can't tell why. No, yeah, so is there, is there a 100cc edge coming? Hey, Lauren. Maybe. <laughs> That's not a lot. That's not a lot. You've been coaching him. No. There are 50 cc edges. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> are some other smaller edges on the Yes. Oh, there you go. Smaller, smaller edges. edges. Smaller edges. What size wingspans are, are we speaking of? Uh, I, can I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. 58. Ooh. 58 that's news. Yeah. That's yeah. news. Okay. Do I know the colors? <laughs> <laughs> tell me the colors. Red, the red silver. black, silver, black and white. white. <laughs> okay, so they're going to pretty much match up on the 74-inch size. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. There might be some orange in there. But uh, how close... You're reaching two minutes to start lying. Yeah, how... Yeah. You won't know when he started lying. <laughs> so how close, how close are we on release of the 74? Well, we'll, Quote, see, 74. We'll, seven, we'll see the 74s this fall. This fall. Yeah. Before Christmas? Christmas time? Is it fall already? Before Christmas. Before, Before Christmas. Christmas. Nice. It doesn't feel like fall down here. No. It's 90 degrees. I'm going to be cold. Yeah. <laughs> my, my Pennsylvania thermostat says this is still summer. <laughs> All right. So uh, the next one was, uh, what was it, Bigfoot? Oh, uh, that's, that's what it had. Okay. Uh, we got, I think we got about another, you know what? Nobody, 30 seconds? Nobody started the watch. Oh, so I guess yeah. we can go again. Yeah. Right? Uh, the colors. I know the colors. Well, there was, you know, there was a lot of excitement about round cows. Round cows. Round. Yes. Round cows. We're excited That's a good about one. round cows. Round, we are excited about round cows. Nice. What kind of round cows are we excited about? There's all kinds of round cows. Like, uh, Maybe. <laughs> are, are we? Uh, are we? Are we going to get? Are we any closer to having any round cow type airplanes? I. Of course. Okay. Any closer to fall by Christmas, right? This fall. This fall by Christmas? Yep. All right. And what sizes are we talking about? Um, I think I released some spy photos, so I think I need to come play on that. Yeah, I think So it'll be 46 inch? That's Yak. the start? Yeah. Yak 55, Yak 54. Yak 55. Okay. And are, are we going up in size at all? Are there any plans to build bigger yaks? There's always there? plans to build bigger. <laughs> That's some more dodgy answers there. Well, yeah. I'm not yeah, lying. What's on a hot we, we can say that AJ, AJ, has, AJ has drawn bigger yaks. Okay. To say AJ has drawn bigger yaks. 50 are okay. in the future? I would like to see 50 cc. I would sure like to see one too. I'd like to see a hundred cc. The director's going to change his camera position. I'm not going to lie. I think AJ would like to see 150cc. Yes. There's some. There's. There's. There's something to chew on there. Yeah, there is. Kind of juicy. Kind of beefy. AJ would like to see a red, white, blue, and yellow. <laughs> Oh, and yellow. Okay. All right. So. Uh, so let's uh, let's turn our attention. Let's roll. Okay. So so Noel can scoot away.
Oh, no, I'm just, I'm teasing. Oh, no, no, no. I am teasing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Texas guys treat me. <laughs> so now wait, now before we talk about any airplanes, there's something we have to do. It's a little ceremony we're going to do. Eddie oh and my I, God. Eddie and I cooked this up. Oh <laughs> my God. You know, the whole, yeah, we're going to have to change your name. Dude. Yeah, you're, okay, okay, so I'll up. turn the camera around on yourself for a second. Oh my turn God. Now what I want you to say is I want you to say something for me. Turn it around on yourself and I want you to say something. I want you to say, my name's Toe Mater. Toe Mater. Because that is who you are. I don't know who Lone Lasso was, but we've all seen cars. Is it and like we all know who Toe Mater is. T O E. You're going to have to go watch the movie now because you are Toe Mater. You're Toe Mater. Anybody that has kids out there in the audience. Oh, that's the guy that, that's okay, Toy Story. That's uh, the guy that's that sounds the, precisely oh, like you. Ah. And acts pretty much like you, too. Okay, yeah. Anyway, so. Goofball. So what we're going to do is here on the, on the thread, we need to have a little bit of, uh, we need to have a little bit of uh, public uh, participation. <laughs> Um, if you think that Lone Lasso should change his name and his avatar to Toe Mater from Cars. Oh my God. And we also, what we need is we need people to post some of their favorite clips of Toe Mater so that, that Toe Mater here understands shit, who he's being named after. He turned into... He does sound like a <laughs> He sounds exactly... Oh my God. Yeah, he, 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 uh, <laughs> oh, we hit him in there. Oh, pieces still coming down. Oh. Let's see if we can catch this on video. Oh, yeah, well. Hey, he missed a good one. He heard it. Oh, it's already down. Okay. All right. So, Toe Mater. Looks like a 59 or something else. Yeah. 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 You better go back to the trader. They'll be flying right now. Please keep in mind we have per personnel out there collecting these bits and parts. So, please stay Hey, I can go get my tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wiping a tear back. Yep, yep. Yep. Wondering if they've got one in stock over in the trailer. Yep, yep. Uh, and the candy shop is open. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sold out of all that. <laughs> Alright, so you've got you've got two minutes. Ben won't tell a lie. What do you want to know? Bigfoot. Okay, Bigfoot. You're, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna have to try. Fifty eight. Well, we just talked about 58. <laughs> anyway, you guys are going to have to trust trust us and AJ okay. on Bigfoot because Bigfoot is a balsa airplane approximately two meters in wingspan, which is going to be very different than anything we've done before. It will have very different capabilities. This is AJ going in a completely different direction oh. than anything he's ever designed before. Um, we think that uh, you guys are going to really like it. Um, it is not a mid-wing scale, extra or edge or yak or anything like that. This is something totally different. Um, we're going to do it first as a two-meter balsa plane. Mm -hmm. And um, if you guys like the two-meter balsa plane, there'll be other sizes coming. And um, so you guys that have 6S 5000s, 8S 4000s, DLE 30s, Keep them close because over the next several months here, you're going to see us go through all of the releases of all the data and pictures and everything, and you'll get to see it all come together. Sweet. It's going to be really neat. Specifically, what is this? What, what's the purpose of this plane? This ah, okay. What's the purpose of this plane? Now, that's a the good question. The purpose of this plane is to be flown by anyone on any type of field under any conditions and do absolutely unbelievable heart-stopping aerobatics and be as rugged as rugged and as practical as an airplane can be. Easy so, to assemble? Um, quick, no quick harder assembly. to assemble than any of the other balsa planes we've ever done. Nice. One thing is it'll use a lot more service Good. than you're used to. It's going to have more functions. Uh -huh. so That's this, juicy. Highway? I will say that the wing is higher than a Cap 232. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not very high at all. No. Well, <laughs> there you go. Anyway, so God, we have to dig the cap to the third tier. But you got you to give us a little more time because when we spring it on you, we, we do want to spring it on you all at once. It's going to be, I think you guys are going to really like it. Very nice. All right, now I've got a specific question. I don't even know if I'm allowed to ask it. God dang it. All right. <laughs> backyard balsa. Backyard balsa still exists. Nice. Now, backyard balsa, when, when our designers have these ideas, we you know have to go with what our designers want to do. And so Backyard Balsa is a project that Scott Stukes um, is working on. It's part of All his right. design portfolio. Looks like everybody's clear on the runway. Looks like everybody's clear on the runway. 
And so, uh, that was Andy. the, bi the uh, biplane has been our big project. Yes. Scott's been working on that. Once the biplane is done, um, which as you can see, the biplane's flying right now. Hey. It's being very well. But yeah, it's been and I we shot video yesterday. Oh, yeah. Anyway, once that's completely done, then we'll be able to get back on the backyard balsa project. Nice. Now the other thing is that there's a lot of backyard planes coming from 3D Hobby Shop over the next six months. Sweet. We'll have to see how all these backyard planes all fit into the lineup. I don't know which ones are going to make it to production because there's a lot of good backyard flyers. Wow. That we have in the works right now. Very nice. Going away from everything, any plans to build any uh, other biplanes? Oh yeah. So this biplane that we're demonstrating this weekend, which is Scott's Viper derived biplane, we've got the aerodynamic package right where we want it. It's been a fantastic design job by Scott, fantastic development by the team, and it's really flying extremely well. Yep. Now that it's flying this well, I think that we're, we're really confident that we'll propagate this over some different sizes so that you guys that have gear from the bigger airplanes can also make use of it. And um, I think we've been talking this weekend about doing it in a smaller size. Aha! Uh -huh. So the size that's flying this weekend is 42 inches in wingspan, um, 800 plus squares um, for the uh, 51 inch slip. For 42 inches it presents very well. Dave will take them all. Yep, it, it does. Is a, it's a neat airplane. Dave will take them all. I heard that. Co Mater. <laughs> All right, so you got you got time for one more question. Okay. Uh, How? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How is Viper spelled? Are you gonna really waste it on that? <laughs> really? <laughs> Seriously? No, I no, okay. For one more All right, so it's B Y P E R. Well, I can see how Dave, why Dave might want to know how to spell things. <laughs> that's important. Well, I can't type, you know. No, uh, I can't type. Capitalization. That's right. Tomater <laughs> doesn't do that. Now. That was a loan lesson. Oh my God! I gotta stop that again. You, you really, really do. Okay. Okay. You got time for one more. Here you are. You're representing thousands of people oh that are interested God. to know about this product lineup, this company. It's the pressure's on. What is it you want to know? When can we go fly again? <laughs> They're gonna hate you. I know it. Any plans, well, any plans for an ultimate? Plans for ultimate. ultimate biplane? Not uh -huh. currently, because I'll tell you, this airframe hey, hey, here, the Scott's go. design, yeah, doesn't have any of the uh, of the problems and compromises of an ultimate. Uh -huh. It's a much truer flying airframe, so this, for us, is much superior to doing an ultimate. And if we do a different biplane besides this, um, it'll be something which is uh, akin to this. It won't be something extra short and stubby like uh -huh. an ultimate. You hear that? That's good. I like that. Uh, it's just kind of our design philosophy. We'd rather we'd rather go for flight performance. Oh, you know what? That was. Yep. I, I I asked the last question for him. Now I'm gonna ask the last question. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm falling into my character here. Are in the works that wrap around a DA120. Projects that are in the works that wrap around the DA120. Um, so when we do something in that size. We have to go and do some other projects first. Now, the, the AJ Slick 104 is a fairly fresh airplane. It's only one season old. So we're, we're not ready to release another DA-120 powered airplane this year. However, if you've been following what AJ's been doing and what AJ's been drawing, you probably can get a pretty good idea of what the next project for the DA-120 will ah. be. So, the DA-120, as everybody who's flown one or owns one knows, is awesome. I mean, it's fantastic. So we definitely need more airframes for that size. However, it takes more than a year to develop an airplane that size and do a good job. The AJ Slick took a long time. It took a lot of work by AJ and a lot of work by the team. So we just, from our standpoint, we just got done with that. And so now it'll be a little time. We're going to work on some other sizes, and then we'll come back to a DA-120 powered airplane. Now I'll tell you something else is, that um, the DA-60 is so nice, there also you know, will be more airplanes for the DA-60, because it's awesome as well. It is. Mm -hmm. It's very awesome. Isn't it? It's awesome. So we're looking at a slightly bigger extra? Um, Maybe. I have to be mum on that. Maybe. <laughs> AJ, AJ and Scott won't like it if I drop too many hints about stuff that's still on their computer screens. So I'll drop hints about this stuff when it gets a lot closer to reality than just the computer screen. So we're when we're talking about stuff today, that's stuff that so already exists. Basically, basically 50 cc's, and we're going to make them a little bit bigger now. 
Well, we can. We can make them a little bigger. Because, um, of, the, because of the DA60? Yeah, and, you know, this is it, it's pushing forward, and then, you know, hey, three or four years from now, everybody's going to rediscover the DA85 and say, wow, it's a bigger DA60. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, yeah. That you'll, you'll see a trend for 90, 92 inch wingspan aircraft that are optimized for the 60. Yep, yep, there'll be some of those. So that means we're going to see something like, so I'm going to guess 108, 110, 111 inch wingspan for a DA120. That would be just about right, wouldn't it? Wow. Mm hmm. How you like me now? And about 28 pounds. <laughs> and, and 28 pounds. Whoa, 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 back up. Say that again. 28 pounds. Yeah, 100, 108, 109 inch wingspan airplanes that weigh 28 pounds are just about right for a DA-120. Just about right. Nice. All right. Well, I think we can wrap her up, boys. Thank you. All right. Well, <laughs> that was my Kinky Freeman impersonation. No, just your Tomater. Just don't forget. We're <laughs> yeah, we got to vote on Tomater. Okay, so listen. Jim Graham, don't last. Jim, Jim Graham needs to change your handle to Tomater, and you need to change your... Jim Graham needs to change your avatar to Tomater and lock it down for all time. <laughs> Can't be changed. That's, That's what you have. What am I going to do to get the password? You don't. You I never don't. get it again. Oh, God. We'll all have your passwords. We'll just post for you, and everybody will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> all, all lower case. A lowercase, okay. <laughs> Alright, all right, well thank y'all so much. <laughs>